Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. It's Friday, March 28th, 2014, and I'm Leanne McAdoo. Well, in a shocking verdict, which just further proves that lawmakers will just arbitrarily make and enforce laws without any regard to the Constitution, Mike Wittichek has now been found guilty of attempted possession of unlawful ammunition for an antique replica muzzle loader bullets. Now, the judge sentenced Mr. Wittichek to time served a $50 fine and required him to enroll with the Metropolitan PD Firearm Offenders Registry. Now, there was much debate in this over whether or not the bullets were legal, since DC residents are allowed to buy antique replica firearms without registering them. And the judge himself seemed inclined to throw this case out because he kept asking, how could the bullets be illegal, but the gun they go in is not? Now, you'll recall that we reported on the story a while back and it was a single, inoperable 12-gauge shotgun shell that was found at Wittichek's home that was causing all of this uproar. Well, the judge didn't even rule on that round because they couldn't find a lab that was able to cut it open in order to see if it worked or not, which just further shows that these guys have no understanding about guns or how they work or the simple fact that rather than stopping the actual criminals that are overrunning DC. They're going after law-abiding citizens who have ammo, but no gun to put them in. Further proving that it's not about stopping criminals or getting the guns out of the hands of criminals. It's about getting the guns out of the hands of law-abiding citizens. They make the laws and you follow them because they're above them. Meanwhile, we've got Kentucky State Rep Leslie Combs. She accidentally fired her gun inside of the Capitol building when she was unloading it. Did she go to jail? Did she get in trouble? Did she almost have her life destroyed? No, because once again, they are above the laws that they make for you, the slaves, the law-abiding citizens, and they are above the laws that they make to enslave us. Now, continuing on with yesterday's bombshell news where we reported about that leaked audio that unequivocally showed Turkish officials planning a false flag attack against their own country. We also exposed how the mainstream media didn't actually report about the contents of that leaked audio, only about the fact that the Turkish prime minister was planning on banning YouTube as he had already banned Twitter calling the uh, leaking of that audio as villainous and immoral. This is coming from a man who was planning a false flag attack against his own country. Well, because we reported on the actual contents of the audio, it sort of forced the media to then report on the contents. But of course, they've got their own spin on it. Now, even though this audio clearly states things like, I'll make up a cause of war by ordering a missile attack on Turkey, spoken by the head of the Turkish intelligence, and there's also plans to attack the Suleiman Shah tomb with Al-Qaeda terrorists playing the role of patsies. Someone clearly states, we can also prepare an attack on Suleiman Shah tomb if necessary. So to be clear, this is confirmed audio. It represents caught red-handed concrete evidence of Turkish officials planning attacks on their own country. But how does the mainstream media spin this? Well, Reuters outright lied and said that the conversation appeared to center on a possible operation to secure the tomb of Suleiman Shah. Uh, in reality, that conversation was about attacking the tomb, and then a CNN report goes to great lengths in exploring how and why the audio tape was leaked, while failing completely to mention its actual content. And this goes on and on. There are many other mainstream media outlets. You can look and see how they covered that leaked audio basically failing to report the contents of the tape that just shows that governments everywhere do engage in false flag attacks to start wars, to create post 9-11 surveillance societies or Sandy Hook gun grabs. But they don't want you to know that because the mainstream media gets its talking points straight from the government and the government does not want you to be aware of false flags. Now, in a surprising or unsurprising move, the government is going to be bypassing the middleman mainstream media altogether. Michigan Rep Mike Rogers is going to take his CIA agenda straight to the people and get into talk radio. He's going to retire. Now, Mike Rogers, he has been an outspoken critic of Edward Snowden, calling him a traitor. He is a huge defender of the NSA program. He's a former FBI 
agent. He was nominated for, for the CIA to be the CIA director. I mean, this is the guy that's going to now be taking over the national airwaves. This is the effect of the U.S. lifting that propaganda ban last year. And this is the true transparency of this administration is that now they are just openly propagating. They're not hiding it anymore. <laughs> They're not hiding their corruption. That's the transparency we can count on from here on out. Now, the CDC newsroom is reporting that one in 25 hospital patients will get infected with a superbug and that tens of thousands of Americans are dying every year because of it. Now, based on that survey, that comes out to 205 deaths per day on average in U.S. hospitals. Now, if we're talking about terrorists killing 205 people a day or if 205 people were lost on a missing plane each day, this would be very big news. But when we're talking about hospital superbug infections resulting in the deaths of 205 Americans per day, it's just simply another statistic and it's not treated as a national emergency because somehow the annual death of 75,000 Americans is just business as usual when we're dealing with this sick care system here in America. And it's the same with pesticides. It's just these huge corporations, these huge systems that are basically getting off scot-free, even though they are linked to, now they're linking pesticides to increased rates of autism. Now, coming up later in the show, Jakari Jackson is gonna be speaking with Brian Hooker, who through filing a Freedom of Information Act with the CDC, was able to link autism with a thimerosal in vaccines. You're not gonna wanna miss that, but you know what? Hey, this is America. The GMOs make us sick, the vaccines make us sick, apparently going to the hospital now makes us sick, pesticides make us sick, but we've got this health insurance so we can all pay for our tumors in perpetuity. Wonderful. We'll stick around. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure the sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee, and it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Yeah, the Second Amendment shall not be infringed. You people need to understand that. Yeah, go f yourself. Comment, sir. Thank you. Yeah, go f yourself. Good comment, sir. Go f yourself. Is that the way we want our elected officials to act? Then come out with a weak. I'm sorry that you didn't appreciate my intentionally offensive words apology. But they're not the only ones. 
Right here in the city of Austin, activists took to City Hall to voice concerns about fluoridated water lowering IQs. The mayor even took it upon himself to use a single finger to display his current IQ after years of ingesting contaminated water. And here's an oldie but goodie candid moment from President Barack Obama. People have been beaten down so long, and they feel so betrayed by government. Well, it's not surprising then that they get better than they claim to guns or religion or uh, antipathy towards people who aren't like them. I know that I've kept a lot of you guys busy this weekend uh, with the comments I made last week. Uh, some of you might even be a little bitter about that. <laughs> yeah, he said it, made a joke about it, but many people on the street still feel that it's a, quote, conspiracy theory that there are politicians actively conspiring to take away guns. First of all, to the gentleman that's dying for attention, uh, someone needs to inform him that there is no gun ban currently, but because of the work that we're doing here today, we will make your side legitimate shortly. So you hang on to that. And for the sake of time, let's move through some political moments that need no narration. Who are they? Are they these extreme conservatives who are right to life, a pro-assault weapon, anti-gay? Is that who they are? Because if that's who they are, and if they are the extreme conservatives, they have no place in the state of New York. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. I remember landing under sniper fire. There was no greeting ceremony, and we basically were told to run to our cars. Now that is what happened. Thank you. There was no sniper fire either when Senator Clinton visited two Army outposts where she posed for photos. Hey, John, good job. Let me know what I can do to help you with Boehner. They're going to have to ha ask that we follow some rules here. And one of them is going to be U.S. questions. I do the answers. That seem reasonable. I'd love to get an answer. That, that, that would be reasonable, right? You do the questions. That would be reasonable. You do the questions. I do the answers, and this jackass interrupts me. How about that as the, as the new rule of the game? Listen to what Holder told a Judiciary Committee hearing on May 3rd this year. I'm not sure of the exact date, but I probably heard about Fast and Furious for the first time over the last few weeks. Yet internal Justice Department documents show that at least 10 months before that hearing, Holder began receiving frequent memos discussing Fast and Furious. You have said in the past that it was, quote, pretty well confirmed. No, I never said that. Okay. I, I never think said that. that is... No, it's absolutely not. What I said was, uh, it's been pretty well confirmed, that he did go to Prague and he did meet with... Um, a senior official of the Iraqi Intelligence Service. Since we have you here, we haven't had a chance to kind of talk about some I'm of the... I'm not speaking about anything that's off topic. This is only about the president. Well, what about... Thank you. Let me, let me be clear to you. Yeah, I think you have to make it to you. You can find more reports at Infowars.com. Celebrate the spirit of freedom and liberty upon which our nation was founded at InfoWarsShop.com. Molon Lave is ancient Greek for come and take it. This popular design combines both classic Greek Spartan imagery with modern M16 assault rifles. Now available in women's tees and proudly made in the USA. Celebrate the spirit of 1776 with the George Washington brass belt buckle or this incredibly sharp looking 1776 hat. Badass. And be sure to check out the new arrivals at InfoWars Life, where you can prepare your body to perform at peak levels with Survival Shield Nascent Iodine, Super Male Vitality, and Fluoride Shield. And wake up, America. Immune Support Blend is the healthy choice for the gourmet coffee lover. So get incredibly high-quality freedom-based products and help fund the revolution at InfoWarsShop.com. Many anthropologists and archaeologists believe that before man even...